Hey everyone, good news. Got my front axle in. I just compared it to the broken one and it's the same. The only difference is this one has the openings right here, 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 and here. But uh, other than that, it is absolutely identical. The other one is solid there. So this one might be a little bit weaker, hard to say, but it will work. It's got the bolt sitting in there right now, just double checking that. This one is greasable right here as well, like the old one was. So I'll grease that up once I get it in. I don't want the, that to separate once I put it in there. I didn't check the spindles, but I'm gonna assume the spindles will be fine. So I'm gonna hang this in place, uh, check the spindles and make sure everything works. Also, it didn't come from the States, it actually came from uh, Mississauga, Ontario. That's what that's what the uh, box said, at least, that it came in. But um, I don't know if that's just the eBay global shipping, how that works, I really don't know. Um, but the uh, shipper's address was uh, Mississauga, Ontario. So that's only an hour and a half from me. But uh, I was actually expecting this tomorrow, and I got, I got it now. So I'm going to get this machine off jack stands, hopefully in the next... Uh, half hour 45 minutes put the axle in put the uh, both spindles in I pumped up these tires last night they're at their full pressure now actually they're two pounds above their uh, recommended PSI I always uh, go a little bit high and then um, it will let a little bit of air when you uh, release the valve anyways so I'm gonna hang the axle put the deck uh, mount back in I don't think I'll put the deck on then we'll do a uh, good test of the transaxle I'll take this thing for a quick ride around the yard and uh, we'll see what happens. Also, I'm in the process of debating on uh, keeping the John Deere or keeping the Ford. I don't really know what we're doing yet. I was also at the John Deere dealer today and there's some pretty nice tractors in there. Um, we kind of fell in love with uh, one of the last year's models. It was, it was nice. Um, so, I don't know what's going on yet. So, maybe this John Deere might get sold. But I'm leaning towards keeping this machine potentially and uh selling the ford um we'll see because uh, this thing here is an ugly duckling so it all depends on what i think i can get out of this machine i would like between the four and six hundred dollar range on this machine uh i think that would be the best because the engine alone is worth at least 400 so we'll see um we're just debating on what we really want to do right now so I gotta get the muffler dropped, get the axle in, and uh, get this thing back on its front tires. Okay, through the uh, magic of video, the axle's now in. Really, there's no point doing a video on how to do this. It's just one bolt. We'll drop the axle out, and we'll put the old axle, put the new axle in. Um, I already had my old one out. All you really gotta worry about is the clip on this side and the clip on that side right there for your spindles. Make sure you have the left wheel on the left, the right wheel on the right. When you go to hook it up, one will be straight, one will be turned. I did run into that issue. Also, make sure your grease fittings are forward. I uh, had to double check mine. I was about to put it in backwards, but not a big deal. So, I might have grease caps for these. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm going to take a peek. And I may grease that. I got to grease the center. I have already tightened up the center. The uh, front deck mount's already back on. I got to put the muffler back on and the uh, rest of the sh uh, pieces of metal. And this machine's done for now. Um, I can get it off my patio and it can go probably behind the S4 for uh, storage. That's uh, shed four, uh, shed one, shed two, shed three, and shed four. That's called an S1 through four. Make it a little bit easier but i'm about to take this thing for a ride it's going to get the muffler back on and uh see how it does but um really really simple job the hardest thing is getting that center bolt undone um luckily i did it a few days ago before i uh even ordered the axle to make sure i had the right one but um everything's straight it's good my uh steering rods are not bent both front wheels are perfectly straight the steering wheels a little bit cockeyed but it's not a huge deal um I got a seat cover kind of on order. They're trying to find me one at the dealership. But uh, other than that, we are just about done. There's a piece of the old one. But um, this axle is supposed to come out of a tractor with, I think, less than an hour on it or something. So my guess is 
they blew the engine up or something along those lines but um that's uh pretty much it for this i will probably do a first drive video when i first fire it up and i uh, think for the ride i've already obviously had it running but uh not if it's front wheels on but anyway, everything greased i'm gonna try and find a couple dust caps for the top of both these axles and i gotta grease the center point and this machine is done everything's all tight I have a couple of bushings left and we'll see, I believe they go on this side or they go on the other side. Um, put them in place and that's it. So stay tuned for the first official drive video. I just noticed, I actually got a little over half a tank of gas in this machine now. I didn't want to leave a full tank, didn't want to leave an empty tank. So when I go to sell it, I do like having some gas in the machine. But uh, that may end up getting drained back out again anyways, if I end up needing it. So I'll talk to you later. Please keep redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment. Make sure you check out some of my older videos. I have uh, monetized some of my older videos. So if you, if you don't mind, go back and check some of them out. And like always, make sure you keep that antler out of that steering wheel.